on in the previous video i talked about the history of computers right now in this video i'm talking about the classifications of computers now there are different ways of classifying computers you can classify computers based on their functionality based on their type based on their size and based on whatever you want to classify them on. but today we are going to be talking specifically about classification based on type another classification based on type we have what is known as the analog computer the hybrid computers and the digital computers other classification by purpose, we have what is known as the general purpose computer and the special purpose computers. Another classification by size, we have what is known as the microcomputers, the mini computers, the mainframe computers, and supercomputers. So starting from the classification by type, let's talk about the analog computers. Analog computers are basically computers that work based on varying inputs. So what that means is that these analog computers, they take in inputs that vary in terms of size or magnitude for example just like those are those those are um, input they are often wave like they are often in sinusoid so this sinusoidal um um data that it takes is this sinusoidal input they are actually converted into continuous data now analog 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 computers includes your speedometer the reason is that this that um that speedometer it, it gives you a continuous um feeling when you whenever you have an analog instrument they often have pointers so they often they often have um, pointers and they range from magnitude to another so and they are continuous then another one another type of computer is um your digital computers and your digital computers they involve your your your, your binary inputs and this binary input there are only two binary inputs which made it very easy to understand how a computer operates and those two inputs are the are the um, off and on now this off and on they are represented numerically by a computer as zeros and one or ones and zeros now that is the basic of how any computer works now if you no matter how gigantic a computer can be no matter how imposing no matter how um, how, how how wonderful it might work the basis of any computer is just two things that is input and output that is the ones and the zeros binary digits. so that is what this that this um this um what is what's called that's this digital computers are based on and they are even more smarter than the analog computers now the other type of computers we have is the hybrid computers and these hybrid computers they are like a combination of analog and digital so these hybrid computers example of hybrid computers are like your four gauge machine for a fuel fuel pump machine so these machines that that can they can display and continuous um, signal and can also display discrete data so that's what's known as hybrid computers they are a combination of analog and digital the next we have to talk about the classification by size so we have the micro computers your micro computers are basically your computers that are very small just like your personal computers your pc and your 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 your, your phones your tablet and your notepad so those are micro computers then you have your mini computers your mini computers are larger than your micro computers but they are not as large as your mainframe computers so your mini computers they are they are usually used by average businesses and they are they are large so then we have your mainframe computers your mainframe computers are the largest of all so and then the their speed are usually calculated in millions of instructions per second so they take instruction in millions in millions of instructions per second but they are not as fast as the supercomputers, but they are the largest. Then lastly, we talk about the supercomputers. The supercomputers are the fastest and the most expensive computers because they have very, 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 um, very um, sophisticated electronics um, parts in them and they can work, they can work out very, very um, scientific data. For example, just like them, um, problem invo involving engineering and aerodynamics, they can process all these data very, very fast. Those are the supercomputers. Then next, we have the classification by functionality. And then we have under this classification by functionality, we have what's known as general computers and special computers. Now these general computers, they are the computers that can perform a range of functions. Like nowadays, you can say our telephone is a general computer. You can use it to make calls. I can use it to make. I, I can use it to vlog. Like you can see me now vlogging on my phone. Now you can use a general purpose computer to do more than one function. But your special purpose computers, they are used for only one function. For example, your camera. I can decide to vlog with the camera or I can decide to vlog with my cell phone. But my cell phone is a general purpose computer and the camera is a special purpose computer. So thank you for watching.